I know some people, they prioritize the performance of techniques simply based on maybe received tradition, uh, which I also respect, right? Um, uh, however, for me, that's not quite enough. Uh, you know, this is how, you know, the Sifu taught it to you. This is how the Sikong or the Sijou, you know, the teacher's teacher's teacher transmitted to you. For some people, that's enough. And I, I call those people, you know, like high fidelity people who uh, do a technique. <laughs> I wouldn't, I don't say it in a derogatory way, like obedient or like uh, fundamentalist uh, or traditionalist. I, I respect that, right? Uh, and I also have sort of another another wing, so to speak. Uh, one wing is like tradition. You know, I flap that wing, you know, thank you for for all the work that you did in your you know life lifetime to to research and to teach um, this technique these techniques. However, maybe it's my personality or maybe my cultural background. Right, I live both in the east and the west. I like to flap another wing, <laughs> um, and you could say you know stereotypically at least you know the east is more tradition because maybe there's more kind of long standing intergenerational transmission intact. Um, again, a generalization. Whereas the West, you know, likes more independent innovation and kind of like, even in modern kind of uh, decades in terms of technology, they like to even use this word disrupt, right? We disrupt the, whatever, cell phone industry. We disrupt, you know, the, the uh, you know, the, the taxi industry, right? <laughs> with like these kind of, um, or even the hotel industry, right? With these kind of uh, uh, sort of the gig economy, they, they, they say. So, so that's kind of the overall. Um, so I definitely have evolved also, let's say, my performance of, of these techniques um, over the years. So um, not just based on my own kind of teaching and research. So this, this kind of evolution, let's say the left wing of innovation, is not just uh, based on my biomechanics and sort of non-traditional kind of uh, research into the techniques, but also teaching. That's been a big also... Um, uh, factor in how I do techniques. Um, maybe teaching people who have different body types, right? different nervous systems. So for me, okay, maybe, you know, the tan or the bong works a certain way. Uh, but I see, oh, for the student, hmm, it doesn't quite work for people, maybe if they're smaller or, or whatever, bigger or thinner. And so I may adapt um, my performance of technique based on how I see the student actually struggling with it, right? Um, and so back to the language analogy is that, you know, even like the letter, even, even not in terms of words, but just letter alphabet, English alphabet, A, the first letter, right? Um, it's pronounced in different ways in different contexts, right? You have the short A like uh, cat, you know? And then, you know, sometimes you pronounce it with a long, long A, you know, like Kate, eight, right? So it's the same letter, uh, same bone, same time. But some depending... people even have uh, accents too, right? Right. <laughs> a little, <laughs> yeah, or something like that. <laughs> um, and to me, is that right or wrong? 